Welcome to Close the Door, a civilian's guide to saving lives and property. This is a fire training toolbox production. The position of a door during a fire could be the difference between life and death. It can also mean saving some personal belongings or you losing everything you have. In this program, we will discuss the importance of your door's position. Please pay close attention because people's lives depend on you getting it right. Let us take a moment to discuss exactly what a fire is. This way you'll have a better understanding of why it is so important to have a closed door during a fire to help save your family's lives and potentially your property. You must have heat, fuel, and oxygen. This is known as the fire triangle. Heat could come from a stove top or possibly someone playing with lighters or matches or even a candle burning. The fuel, those are the things that are in your home, such as your sofa, TV, computer, tables. The oxygen, that's in the air all around us at all the time. And when we get these in just the right mixture, we have a fire. Now that you understand the basics of what is required, we can dig into why having the door closed is so important. The simple act of closing the door reduces fire growth, spread, damage to your home, and could possibly save lives. Today's homes have a higher fire load because of the amount of plastics and foam in our furniture. And they are better insulated and more energy efficient. They are larger and have large, open, undivided living spaces. This has led to really fast growing fires. Underwriters Laboratory has done several scientific tests that have validated that fire grows eight times faster than fires of yesteryear and are extremely deadly, even before the flame reaches you due to the toxic smoke from these fires. Tonight, a warning that could change the way you think about fire safety in your home. You might not have as much time to escape from a fire as you think. 12 News' Kent Wainscott is here with the 12 News investigation. Well, it may be true that where there's smoke, there's fire. But in your home where there's fire, there may not be any smoke, at least not the kind that you may think of. What you'll get instead is a thick cloud of toxic gases that could put you and your family at risk in an instant. Come here, hon. Like a lot of moms, Karen Kachura has practiced fire safety with her kids. The family has a plan so that six-year-old Jacob and his little sister Shay know what to do in an emergency. If we ever had a fire, we're supposed to meet out in the front of the house. But what the Kachuras didn't count on was the kind of fire they may have to deal with. That's because from the carpets to the countertops, their home, like millions of others, is filled with synthetic materials. There are chemicals in the furniture, in the appliances, even in the wood finish on the floors and cabinets. Deputy Chief Jesse Alba of the Waukesha Fire Department says that can pose a serious hazard for anyone in a fire. As plastics burn off three and four times faster than wood does, it's really shortening our escape time. And there's another concern. The synthetic materials not only speed up a fire, they also emit toxic fumes when they burn. As responders, we're well aware of the dangerous gases inside buildings, but I think as homeowners, sometimes we're not. Just look at this living room. Almost everything in it is made from synthetic materials. We have beautiful carpeting, beautiful furniture that will very quickly go up in flames. And that means in a fire, Karen and her family have less time to get out safely. I would have thought at least 10 or 15 minutes. And now? Oh, uh, well, now I know I have a lot less time. Fire experts say that what many people don't realize is that when plastics or other synthetics burn, the smoke that fills a home isn't traditional smoke at all. It's literally a plume of flammable liquid. What we used to call smoke, I like to call gases now. The Chicago Fire Department, working with the world's leading fire safety experts at Underwriters Laboratories, conducted a study to show just how dangerous a modern house fire can be. The material, the plastics, burn so quick, um, rooms flash over, we're talking degrees of about 13, 1500 degrees. UL's smoke characterization study showed that in a living room with synthetic furniture, a small fire on a sofa can fill a room with toxic gases in less than two minutes and can quickly flash over, spreading flames throughout the home, potentially trapping anyone inside. The escape time for the average consumer is much less. 20 or 30 years ago, you had about 17 minutes after your smoke alarm went off, on average. Today, that 17 minutes has dropped to three or four minutes. So when your smoke alarm sounds, you don't have time to do anything except get yourself and your family out. And for families like the Keturahs, that means having a fire escape plan that not only will work, 
but will work quickly. I think we're going to probably uh, refresh that action plan a little bit. It's never been more important than it is right now. Now, obviously, you're not going to get rid of all of the synthetic materials in your home, but you can adapt your family's fire safety plan. The National Fire Protection Association recommends that you make a step-by-step -step escape plan. Practice it with your family at least twice a year and make it realistic. Pretend that some of the exits are blocked by fire or smoke and that the lights are out. And also practice alternative escape routes. And, of course, have working smoke detectors. And remember that there is no time to waste and you may not have as much time to escape as you think. All right, Kemp. Thank you.
Always sleep with your door closed to increase your chance of survival. Keep your child's bedroom door closed. If a hallway fire occurs, a closed door will hinder smoke from overpowering your baby or toddler, giving firefighters extra time to rescue them. Since you should keep the door of your baby's bedroom closed, keep a working smoke alarm in the room and use a baby monitor so you can hear if the alarm sounds. Closed doors keep the fire from growing faster, which can increase your and your family's chances of survival in the event of a fire in your home. As we discussed already, fires today grow eight times faster and can become deadly in as little as two to three minutes. Therefore, it is essential that you have an escape plan and practice it with your family often. Draw a map of your home. Show all doors and windows. Visit each room. Find two ways out. Make sure your home has smoke alarms. Push the test button to make sure each alarm is working. Pick a meeting place outside. It should be in front of your home or at a neighbor's. Everyone will meet at this same meeting place. Make sure your house or building number can be seen from the street. Talk about your plan with everyone in your home. Learn the emergency phone number for your fire department. Practice your home fire escape drill. If you have a real fire, remember to escape first, then call the fire department. Don't try to save your belongings, and the most important thing is get out, close the door behind you, and stay out. These photos are from an actual incident, and they were taken just two minutes apart. The first one is when the exterior door was closed, and the next one is when it was opened two minutes later. These pictures truly show how fires grow so much faster today with modern household furnishings if the fire is given the air it needs to burn. Hopefully everyone sleeps with their doors closed and the last slide to you is nothing new. However, most people only think about getting out and staying out but fail to think that the door behind them is closed or not. If they could increase others' chances of survival and slow down the fire from destroying all their personal belongings, you would know that you want to close the door every time. This slide is from a recent fire testing conducted on Governor's Island by the Fire Department of New York, UL, and NIST. These numbers don't lie. It is plain to see every time the door was closed, it cut the fire's temperature in half. As you learned earlier, the fire needs heat, fuel, and oxygen to continue to burn. So closing a door can cut the heat temperature in half and also, most importantly, cut off the fresh air that the fire needs to grow. Every day across the country, fire service professionals are working hard to protect their communities. Through training, education, and practice, they are ready for when you need them. But unfortunately, from time to time, a firefighter will lose their life serving such a community. The photo on the left is of Friday, December 18, 1998 where New York City firefighters lost their lives. Potentially, a closed door could have prevented this incident. The photo in the center is significant damage in a Baltimore County fire, January of 2011, where a firefighter lost his life. Look at the bottom right. That is the room behind the closed door. Significant difference, correct? You can potentially save the life of a firefighter by simply closing the door. Since sometimes numbers can be hard to understand, like in the last slide, we wanted to show this video that was shot by a project called Kill the Flashover. This is a burn demonstration. This is the view from a firefighter's thermal imaging camera. You can clearly see the effects of closing the door and the effect that it has on the growth of the fire. As you can see, the simple act of closing the door took the fire room temperature from 800 degrees to 483 degrees Fahrenheit in just 15 seconds. For more information on the Kill the Flashover project, look them up on Facebook or visit joestarns.com.
Another fire, New York City, December 1998, on a West Side apartment where the family of actor Macaulay Culkin lived. Fire officials said it began in a heater which spread to a sofa, then ignited a Christmas tree. The Culkins escaped the apartment, but so did the smoke. Someone had used a floor mat to prop open the apartment door. Someone had also left open a hallway door to the stairs. The Culkin fire was on the 19th floor. Four people died in this fire, but yet they were nowhere near the apartment or the fire. They all suffocated somewhere between the 27th and 29th floors in this stairwell, which had become like a chimney filled with hot gases because of these two open doors. While it is important to close the door for your apartment or your home, it's also important to close any hallway doors because if this smoke travels, it could potentially infiltrate into these stairwells and spread to other parts of the building. We don't want any of our neighbors or any of our friends to become hurt or possibly even killed because the simple act of a closing the door was not taken. It was well led that the FDNY became very aggressive at spreading the message of closing the door when you leave because of this fire. In the next slide, you will see a great public service announcement video that FDNY made concerning closing the door. A fire breaks out on the first floor of a two-family house. Door. The woman quickly leaves to call the fire department. Door. And two people die upstairs, overcome by smoke. Door. A man smoking in bed starts a fire. The door. Leaves the bedroom, rushes to a phone. The door. And before the fire department gets there. The door. The rest of his house burns down. The door. Is there one single act that could have been done Close the door. to help prevent this needless loss of life and property? Close the door. What should these people have done? Close the door. Do you know that a door is one of the best pieces of firefighting and life-saving equipment? Close the door. And if you leave a room that is on fire, close the door. If you simply close the door, close the door. It will help stop the fire and smoke from spreading too quickly. Close the door. This life-saving information is brought to you by this station and the New York City Fire Department. Close the door, please. These two pictures are from a recent fire that we responded to. As you can see, outside the door in the hallway, the area was burnt by fire. And the other picture of the room behind the closed door. Look at the significant difference. They were able to save almost all those belongings, and they were able to escape with no problem by simply having the door closed. Hopefully, this short training program has informed you on the importance of keeping your door closed. With today's modern fires that grow much faster and hotter, you may only have up to three minutes to exit the home. It is paramount that you have a solid escape plan, and it includes closing the doors as you leave so you can help save your property and even the life. This also helps reduce the fire size to protect your neighbors. It also helps the firefighters. As they arrive, they have a much smaller fire to deal with, and they'll be able to save more of your property and possibly even your home. Please close the door so we all can survive.